Morning y'all, the sun is right through my window, so that's hence the lines. Just filled up my gallon. I have been drinking like just about one of these a day. It's about 7.30, I woke up around 6.30 and I need to go get groceries just a little bit because what I have right now is mostly just bland food. So I need to get, like I need to start eating to heal. Um, and I was, that was my intention after surgery, but I didn't want to get sick after surgery or I didn't anticipate getting sick after surgery and that's what ended up happening. So I didn't eat a lot of the food that I planned on eating, but I'm going to go and, you know, get some tofu, get some nuts, get some, probably some almond butter because I kind of want that. Yeah, just a few things. So it's just right next door, so it shouldn't take long. Okay, I just got back from getting groceries. That literally took me like not even 20 minutes. I'm gonna do a grocery haul. It's really sh like tiny, so I don't usually do these, but organic almond butter, unsweetened, unsalted. Got these gluten-free waffles, maybe for this weekend. Sebastian's coming over, I'm not gonna eat that now. A couple boxes of Mama Chia. These are so good. Well, I don't know if I've had this one, but for sure. Oh, they're so good. I could like legit eat 20 of them. Two red bell peppers, vegan feta cheese, frozen green beans. I got two packs of high protein tofu. I'm about to make this for breakfast. Am I, is that what I'm doing? I don't know, maybe not, maybe that's lunch. Um, I got two bags of raw, no, these are roasted cashews, but unsalted. And then uh, Turkish, apricots dried apricots some 12 grain bread from arnold this is one of my favorites bananas i wish i got some more like ripe ones so i could bake but whatever avocados they're not ripe either and then blueberries so i stuck to foods that for the most part obviously some of this is processed but for the most part foods that are good for healing after surgery because I definitely need to eat better because of, you know, just everything that happened is making it more difficult for me to heal. So we're going to have a good day today. I feel okay right now. Um, I'm in a little bit of pain, but it's manageable and it's going to be a beautiful day. It already is, but it's going to be like low 80s and I'm looking forward to my walk and I need to log on to work now after I put all this away, make breakfast, and this is really crooked, I, I'm, I'm sorry. put half a bottle of Owen strawberry banana protein. It's my first one I've had in a while. Um, some oats, two, three frozen strawberries, about a fourth a cup of cocoa yo coconut yogurt with probiotics, and then console fiber supplement. And then just some bread. I need to finish these. Bread with vegan cream cheese, so. That's breakfast. So I just ate lunch and filmed a video. I didn't even show what I was cooking. I'll put a picture up of what I made, but it was so good. And I'm just, I'm feeling pretty energized right now. I'm pretty good. This is because I'm eating. And so that's good news. And I'm feeling just more hopeful today. Um, I did film a video just now, my usual transfer Tuesday. And that video will be up today, but 
it'll be from I, when you're watching this it's last week's video <laughs> but i need to log back on to my work computer now so it is one o'clock y'all can probably guess what i'm about to do go on my walk it is four o'clock i had a client call for financial coaching speaking of i do have two spots open as of today um, I am about to go on my walk obviously and then when I come back I need to edit edit this the vlog from yesterday and get that up and I have my transfer Tuesday video I need to get up as well so quite a busy evening I ate a pre-workout snack of apricots and cashews so oh and a chia seed mama chia I was on my walk, Decide I'm like headed back, but I decided to sit down because it's hurting pretty bad. Uh, I, like, I could make it without sitting down, but I figured I would just rest. I've been listening to podcasts, Bigger Pockets, Money, and um, it's a beautiful day, so there's that. But I still have quite a while to walk back, probably at least 30 minutes, um, so yeah, it's hurting. <laughs> another smoothie and I've been having one every day I guess for like three days now and I just use my Owen I've been making smoothies because I don't like this like you can mix it into food but I just don't like how it, it thickens things up a lot and it grosses me out but anyways um, Owen they created like an ambassador program y'all know I'm obsessed with Owen I, I you know I haven't been drinking these as of much as much lately because of everything going on but if you look at my fridge like i literally have a whole store of owen in there and they created an ambassador program and i applied for it like weeks ago and never got anything like are you kidding me so i'm gonna definitely do it again or like reach out to them again because i'm not gonna stop until i get into this ambassador program because i promote the hell out of this i have converted multiple people to these drinks it's very upsetting today i'm using this yogurt instead so delicious coconut milk it's actually super good as well it's a lot thinner than that other one the coco yo and a lot cheaper it is 4 15 today has been i took a nap i was tired <laughs> but I'm about to go to Walgreens to pick up a prescription. I actually called my doctor's office, spoke with the nurse. I've literally called her, well, I've spoken to her three times after surgery. So one time she called me to check on me, but I have called twice with like my concerns. And this time it was just the pain. I wanted to make sure what I'm feeling is normal. Um, it's not horrible. Like again, I have, if you've watched my last video, I still haven't taken painkillers since the second day. I don't want to because I am pretty sensitive to painkillers and also like when your gut is messed up like you don't want to like it's not ideal to take something like that so I've been fine without it but I want to be able to walk more comfortably and I was explaining in my last video that I have like uh, this pinching pain when I walk so she prescribed me a lidocaine ointment which I've heard is very helpful even if you just have the fissures um, like before the surgery so I was never prescribed a lidocaine and I'm hoping this will help so by the way I've gotten all these little like tank top sports bra things from forever 21 I'm really trying to avoid I got them back in March but I'm really trying to avoid fast fashion I hate it but like it's just so frustrating frustrating to me how expensive 
other ones are. Like, this is all I want. I wanted like cute tank top slash like crop top sports bras. And I live in these, like I love them so much and that's all I wanted. But yeah, it was just hard for me to find elsewhere. But anyways, I'm gonna go pick that up and then I guess I'll go on my walk. I don't know, I was asking her if it's like okay to walk, how I've been walking, and she's suggested not to do like miles and miles. And what have I been doing? Let's see how many miles. She didn't give me specifics though. Three miles yesterday, three miles Monday, two miles, 2.7 miles Sunday. I don't know, is that miles and miles or just like, I don't know, we'll see, but. It's a pretty hot day out, so let's go get my prescription. Back from the pharmacy, put on the lidocaine. <laughs> About to go on a walk. Somebody asked me in my last video why I carry why I carry a flashlight in broad daylight, and I had vlogged this a while ago when I bought these. This is also a stun gun, so it's a flashlight, but also a little defense weapon. So. If you see these, these little prongs, uh, when you push this button, it's a stun gun. It's very loud, I'm not gonna do it. You're not supposed to do it in the air very often, so I'm not gonna do it, but there's the, there is a flashlight too, and then you switch up, then you would push the button, and that would stun. So it has to be on somebody's skin or clothing in order to work, um, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go on my walk now. Uh, hope, probably not as long. Let me see how this is feeling. Honestly, it kind of hurts when it kind of hurt when I put it on, and it feels very. I don't know. I feel pressure right now. Create an op. Opportunity. Opportunity. Look at our baby brothers. <laughs> Sivas is here. He's so presa me. I haven't vlogged today at all, actually. So hello and happy Thursday. It's actually two o'clock in the afternoon. He just had a call. Sebastian just came here at like one something. I'm hurting, but we're gonna push through. We're walking. Sebas is just addicted to work. <laughs> I don't have to reply. I, I sneeze and it hurts. <laughs> the dog's barking. I'm really tired and I feel like I can't speak right. We're taking a different walk, just a little short one. So Different than usual. Way different than usual. I actually used to watch this, walk this when the pandemic first started, this is what I walked like for a few days, I don't know, until I found this neighborhood. Okay. There's a little garden right there. Cute. Good morning, happy Friday. I feel pretty good right now, so we're gonna um, appreciate that. I have plants from my sister, I think they're like banana pepper plants. I can't even remember what she told me. Where'd I? Oh, this is what I needed. And I need to do that outside. So Sebastian's working. I am too, but I just, I keep putting this off and I need to just do it. My dad had made this for me last year, last summer at some point. And I need to pull these out and then put these in. You see, they're starting to like wilt because they shouldn't be in here, so, and I need to water them, so I'm gonna put them in here. Okay, here's our planet. I think, I think my dad said this was time, I don't even know. Oh no, this is lemon time. This was something else though, too. Mm. And then we have basil, parsley, more basil. Uh, is this one? And mint. What time is it? Like 12 something? 
Yeah. We're heading to the other complex, the apartment complex across the street, the sister company that we have access to. He's carrying my stuff for me because it's heavy and I'm not supposed to carry heavy stuff. MacBook's charger and it snapped. I've had my MacBook since 2014, so I will say that's great. Like, it's been a long time. And having an Apple charger for, what is that, six, five years? Six, oh wait, seven years. Almost seven years is pretty decent. So, it's a problem though. I don't have, like, I, I have my iMac, so I'll have to start using that, I guess, and then save up, start saving up for a new MacBook, which is unfortunate, but I guess it's time anyway. The battery's been dying faster. Today's been weird. I've tried to take a nap. Uh, then there was a wreck outside the apartment that woke me up. It was a really bad wreck, actually. It looked like everybody was okay, but I haven't been able to sleep, and then I need to... Um, upload my video I need to upload my video but I decided to stupidly update my iMac and it's been an hour so I went and got my mail I went and printed off the stuff that I need to return like my fitness stuff that I'll send out tomorrow and I have a little tiny haul wow this is really little not what I was expecting Okay, so I got a book from Luis L. Hay, Heal Your Body. This is so tiny. Wow. Very cute. Also, not what I expected. It had really good review. The mental causes for physical illness and the metaphysical way to overcome them. We'll see. I have a package as well. And it's quite large, and you'll see why. Okay, first of all, I ordered another book. I ordered like four books, but they're all, I got like, oh, this one's supposed to be new, but it's definitely beat up. Um, the other ones, I, I try to get them used. But I've been wanting to read this for months, The Psychology of Money by Morgan Husserl. I'm not sure how to say his last name, but I've heard really good things about this. I've been... I never really read finance books, it's mostly personal development, so I'm excited for this and then I can put up a review on my finance channel. And the star of the show. <laughs> Squatty potty. Squatty potty. The official Squatty potty. I got the simple one. There's one that's like $10 more and it's a little bit larger. You put this underneath your toilet, your feet go on here, so then you're like in more of a squat position while you use the restroom. This is ideal because when we sit, we're like in this shape, you know, and it puts pressure on our colon, so we're not properly getting your poop out of your system. So this opens that up and it, everything should just come out a lot easier. Like you should not be sitting on the toilet for longer than... 10 minutes, ideally not longer than five minutes. Like everything should just come out. And if it's not coming out, then there is something wrong. Like you're either constipated or the way that you're sitting, of course, um, you're not drinking enough water. So there's a lot of things, but this is a great thing to purchase. This is literally like $15. There's a more expensive one for 25, but I'm pretty excited. I've been using a container <laughs> this whole time because I, I know that that's, uh, it helps to get it out and I've needed that during this time with when I had the like before my surgery and after my surgery so Sebastian is using this um, my, my kid's hawk it hurts do you even know the name of it? massage gun from a pove a pove 
Hold on, let me pull up the info. Aye. Oh. Aye, babe, that's too fast. I'm not doing it. <laughs> ah. It's doing it on its own. Okay, I've been meaning to... This company sent me this for free. So it's a Pove M3 Pro Max Massage Gun. And it's a very nice gun. It has... Uh, I've, I've been meaning to shout them out for a while. But with everything that happened, I haven't been using it because I haven't been, like, going to the gym or anything. And, like, that's the last of my... You know, I'm not going to self-massage, but uh, it has, let's see, make sure I get this right. Quiet, even at high speed. It is not, it's not too loud. Lightweight, manual and auto mode. So that's what was just happening. It was on auto and it was like speeding up to go way too fast. Um, but it's, it only, it has like a few settings, but it's super powerful. And then it does have, how many heads? Five different heads for it. Show that one, babe. I like this one. It's like a, I that no no no, the, <laughs> the ball on it. This little ball, but they also have some that are different shapes to like target certain parts. Uh, yeah, but I can link it below. Let me see if there is. I'll, I'm gonna link it down below though. And uh, I might have a coupon code, I'll have to look, but I'm gonna link it down below. Good morning, happy Saturday. This morning I woke up before six, it was like 5.50 or something. And it's 11 o'clock now, but we wanted to wake up early um, just to like make the day longer, you know? And we've done quite a bit. This morning I baked banana bread, that's this here. It's from the website Oh She Glows. I can link it down below. It has a little bit less sugar than my typical recipe, so that's what I wanted to go for. Um, it's very good. And then went to, I packaged up all my like supplements I had purchased from Live Body, like their bot, their fat burner, and then uh, two high volume or pumps from. PE science and two bags of greens, but I returned one bag of greens in both the high volumes Since I won't be using those for some time and I had to pay for shipping, but it's okay Like I'd rather just get my money back because I don't want them to go to waste or get start getting chunky I probably shouldn't drink those for a while anyway And then we went to the grocery store uh, and picked up Sebastian bought all of his groceries for the next week, but I purchased just like stuff for today because we're gonna make sandwiches. This is huge. Baby, how how do you want this sandwich? Like just half? Here? No. Why why are you bring me all this? Cause like I mean I told you you didn't put enough ketchup on it. There's no ketchup on there. Do you put ketchup on Yes. Sandwiches? Yes. Like a pickle sandwich with just like, uh, it's vegan deli here, meat. Here, put your sandwich in there before. Do you guys see that? Mm -hmm. I put ketchup on burgers, like a vegan burger, but not sandwiches. They can't even see you. Stop talking to yourself. They can see me. <laughs> We're at Pont City on the Beltline, our favorite place in Atlanta. We come here like all the time, but we are gonna walk all the way to Piedmont Park, which is how much of a walk? Wow, that's super close to me. <laughs> like a mile at least. And we have a picnic. Oh, my mirror staring back at me. to the park. Wasn't so bad. A bit of a We're all the way over there. <laughs> I don't like the grass right there. It's too hot. We made it. We found our little spot. The best one that's, you know, a lot of them are taken. So here we are. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yes. Where is it? Hmm? 
Make our sandwiches. Our favorite sea salt vinegar. Monster. Jeez, we've got a lot. Guacamole and banana bread. Mmm, it's still nice and green. It's 3.44 and we have to walk back and our parking expires at like 4.17. But we just witnessed a proposal. Actually, Sebasti Sebastian like participated because like the whole, all their family and friends were here. He participated because he was like offering to help do a lookout because they had like the ring set up and flowers and stuff. And it's like a popular spot to take photos here. So he was getting people like out of the way. But gotta do good feet. Yeah, it was really sweet and they were very grateful for him. So we did see that though. Very cute. Hi everyone, it is now Tuesday. I did not vlog. I didn't pick up the camera at all after the last clip. Not for any reason, just because that's what typically ends up happening. And I'm about to edit this video, so I wanted to do an outro. Uh, the rest of Saturday, we ended up watching Prison Break. We continued watching that. We are on season four. Does anybody watch that? Oh my god, my camera's gonna die. But that, then on Sunday, we watched Prison Break as well. Sebastian helped me clean my apartment, and then I meal prepped, all that stuff. It's been a little bit rough with my recovery, but I am slowly getting better. But my camera's about to die, so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.